So over here on this system, we have a GTX 4E right here in the system. It's got the, the nice little LED. This is our new high-end graphics card that's going to be coming to market very, very soon. It's plugged into an X58 system uh, running at about 3.3 gigahertz. It's got uh, six gig of memory. So this is a pretty high-end system. Now over here, I want to show you what's going on on the system. So the setup we have here is uh, showing first the device manager. There's a single NVIDIA GeForce GTX 480. And you can see it's plugged into an X58 motherboard with a Core i7-960 running at 3.3 gigahertz. So there's no overclocking, no overvoltaging on the GPU or the CPU. It's just a stock system. And uh, I'm going to put fraps up and run the Heaven benchmark. So let me go ahead and kick that off, and then I'll tell you what this is all about. Heaven is one of the first benchmarks that really does a good job exercising the X11. Let me go ahead and put this thing into benchmark mode, and I'll tell you what I mean. As an example in this scene, there's really not much going on that's exercising the GPU. But then there's scenes like this where you start seeing more detail in the terrain, more detail in the textures. Um, in a scene like this, and also in the upcoming scenes, that's when GTX 480 really shines. That's when our tessellation hardware kicks in, and you can see a big difference between us and the competition. So this is the dragon scene, and what's happening is all of this geometry right here is done using a displacement map, and it's generated on the GPU, all tessellated geometry. What that means is, if I show you the, the base mesh, there's not a lot of geometry in the base image, and tessellation has all this extra geometry that makes the dragon look real. The way to view that is if I turn on the mesh, you can see here all of the polygons. There's so many triangles here that it just looks like a white mess. That's tessellated in the sense that there's a lot of beautiful, fine detail that's added by the hardware. When you turn off tessellation, you get just the base mesh, a very simple polygon array. The reason there's two images is you want a very simple geometry when you're far away from an object, right? You can't see slowly you can see the dragon all of a sudden gets really, really simple. And similarly, the geometry on the ground dramatically simplifies. As I zoom in, though, all of those triangles automatically come back and the dragon becomes beautiful again. From the scene, you're just watching the world kind of spin. Thank you. 